Good morning, Patriots. Welcome to Rex Pines TV. I'm Valencia Anderson. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations, passion, and perseverance. Thank you. You may now be seated. Today is Wednesday, February 9th, 2022. Scholars, let's get ready for our brain break segment. So take the time right now to pause, to take a deep breath, breathe in through the nose. And as you breathe out through the mouth, just allow the eyes to close. Allow the body to be still. Allow the mind to be still if it wants to. And just allow whatever feelings arise to come to the surface. Now let's go to Angela and David for word of the day. Hey David, did you know that there's a raffle to win a $25 gift card going on? But if you don't win, you still get a $5 gift card for participating. So it's a win-win situation. Oh, so you're guaranteed to win something even if you don't win the main prize? Yep, I guess that's what it means, but um, what does guarantee mean? Guarantee is a promise with certainty, so in this occasion, even if you didn't win the main prize, you will still get something. Oh, okay, well that makes sense. Well, I'll guarantee you a spot at my birthday party next week. Oh, thanks. See, See you tomorrow, tomorrow on the Word, Word of the, the Day. Day. Keep watching Word of the Day. I guarantee you'll learn something new. Now let's go to Chanel for today's Black History Month segment. Thank you, Valencia. Hey, Patriots. Today in Black History, we're going to be talking about Maya Angelou. Maya Angelou was born April 4th, 1928. She was an American poet, memorist, and a civil rights activist. She's made several poems, but some of her most famous include Still I Rise and Phenomenal Woman. Still, I Rise is especially important during these times because it expresses her faith that African Americans will triumph, despise the adversity and racism we still continue to see today. Her poems truly gave hope to all. Now let's go to Scott for today's sports highlights. Thank you, Chanel. Sports fans, while millions are watching Beijing right now, we found another very interesting snowy competition happening this Friday in the U.S. Ever heard of ski during? The word basically means ski driving. And this intense sport involves skiers being pulled by horses, dogs or vehicles, or even small planes over snow. Believe it or not, people have been doing this for over 100 years and began with people being pulled by reindeer. This weekend, however, the competition in Utah will have the ski jurors navigating an obstacle course with jumps, hoops to collect, and gates to pass, all while trying to beat a clock. If there's one thing I snow, it's that this competition will surely be a sight to ski. Now let's go to Sonia for the lunch report. Thank you, Scott. Today's lunch is crispy chicken patty, bun, corn, orange juice, barbecue sauce, and your choice of milk. Don't forget to let your teachers know if you will be receiving lunch today. Bon appetit. Let's go back to Valencia. Thank you, Sonia. Patriots, Black History Month is here. Today we continue our special daily activities. Today you can wear green and dance to Juju on that beat, and tomorrow you can wear your favorite black athlete's jersey. I can't wait to see your amazing dance moves. Patriots, the book fair starts next week Friday. Let's take up some good books.
Scholars, you can now join the National Junior Honor Society. This is only for the 7th and 8th graders. The due date to turn in your application has been extended to the 15th. Check the flyer to see if you meet the requirements. Our Amazing Globe Party is on March 16th. See the flyer for further details. Let's get those lessons done so you can go to the Globe Party. Scholars, the Grad Venture is coming up. See the flyer for further details. Patriots, the Amazing Hero Store is open. Tomorrow is the 7th and 8th graders' turn to go to the store. Make sure to get there early so there's no wait. And last week we had Center's Day. Let's showcase the Center highlights. Enjoy! Hi, good morning. Uh, we are doing Center's. Some of them here, we have 101. My students here are doing already. Some of them here in this table, they are recognizing the letters. On my other table, the red team, they are doing um, math. And also at the end, my green table, they are doing recognizing the beginning sounds and put paste on the pictures. Grammar today, we are completing a subject verb coloring page for social studies. They can either be answering a text evidence worksheet about Black History Month, or they can do a cell, so a social emotional learning activity, where they explain why it's important to be determined, strong, and brave. And then for technology, they're completing a brain pop that is either about poems or paragraphs, whichever one they choose. Hi guys. Um, so right now for Center's Day, my small group is working on a writing review with me. So we're going over all the components for our informative essays. One center that is for technologies. I have a grammar center where they have to fill in the correct words. And then I also have one for social studies. And for social studies, they're working on Florida then and now, which correlates to our standard this week that we're learning about Florida and the Great Depression. So they're completing that work and annotating and going from there. Now let's see what the weather's gonna be like today with Randy. Thank you, Valencia. Hey, Patriots. It looks like today's weather will be a high of 68 degrees Fahrenheit with rainy skies. There's some rain heading our way, so watch out for some gray clouds. In other weather news, the search is on for a legendary ship. Ernest Shackleton, was supposed to be the first person ever to cross Antarctica, but his ship was crossed by ice before he could. It's been over a hundred years since he tried, so you may be wondering, why are they looking now? Due to global warming heating the atmosphere, they think that they can recover the ship from under the melting ice. It will be a good opportunity to learn more about the effects of global warming. Let's hope that ship is recovered. Now let's go to Yozdanyu for our video game segment. Hey Patriots, welcome back to BVG. Today we'll be talking about the game Super Smash Bros. This game is a fighting game that is only found on Nintendo. The game consists of many characters from other games like Mario, Pokemon, Legend of Zelda and much more. Recently the character Sora was introduced in Smash Bros. Although he is only available as a DLC character. The difficulty of the game really depends on the person you fight because they might be really good at the game which would make it a lot harder for you to win. There is also story mode but it can get quite confusing so players mainly play the game mode where they battle against their friends. The graphics of the game are especially good when the characters are using their own unique special moves and when you hit the smash bar and gain your ultimate move. The cutscenes of the game look really nice and sharp. This game is really cool because you can play with your friends and choose different characters each round or do different challenges with them 
like only using characters from the same series. This game is amazing to play and would recommend it wholeheartedly. I would rate this game a spectacular 10 out of 10. And here are some pros and cons. This game is a hard hitter. Go out and play it now. See you next time, Patriots. Thank you, Yostani. That was a smash. Today's birthday boys and girls are Mila Adan, Sheza Solman, Kayleen McBean, Carter Lacey, Jada Harrison, O'Neill Francis Jr., and Gabriella Duran. Happy birthday! Now let's go back to Valencia. Thank you, Peyton. Patriots, here your pals' expectations represents. Present yourself positively, act kindly towards others, treat the school's environment respectfully, and succeed at everything. Now for yesterday's trivia winners, congrats to Miss Only. You were the only one who had the correct answer to yesterday's trivia question, which was, which country has the biggest water park in the world? The correct answer is Germany. Now teachers and scholars, here's today's trivia question. How many teeth does the average adult human have? Teachers, please send your answers to pines.renaissance at gmo.com before 10 a.m. in order for a response to be reviewed. Winners will be announced on the next morning announcements. Everyone at RPTV would like to wish you all a wonderful Wednesday. And don't forget, this year we are all about fundamentals and forward focus. Have a great day.